हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द आरटीएम डेवलप सीरीज मोस्ट हार्डवेयर टीम ट्रैक कंपोनेंट रिस्क इन एक्सेल द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट एक्सेल इट्स दैट एक्सेल इज ऑलवेज आउट ऑफ सिंक विद द डिजाइन सो द पेन इज द बोम इज इन आरटीएम लाइफ साइकिल ट्रैकर इज इन एक्सेल प्राइजिंग ट्रैकर इन अनदर फाइल नो बडी नोज विच इज करंट अपडेटेड रिविजन और अपडेटेड फाइल्स so by the time excel says a part is obsolete and the pcb is already routed so it's an issue to overcome this issue altium develop provides solution like supply chain data is embedded in the altium develop always connected to the real components and lives inside the design context so we will discuss this uh in the workspace so as you can see here you have a nice view of your workspace and i am currently in the bom portal over here and here you can see uh, different parts are there the part numbers are mentioned the names are there description is over here designators are there like in the first component 3.33 uf capacitor it's an aluminum organic capacitor and the quantity is 4 and part number is over here so uh, this description is uh, written for all the components so uh, we should be aware or we should take care of those components which has uh, the life cycle like here in the life cycle column manufacturer life cycle 1 column Uh, it's written over here end of life and not recommended for new design so it is required that the designer when designing the circuit only use the component which are available which don't have any issues like not recommended for new design so we we can't use this component in our product it means that uh, if we use that component maybe in future and ultimately it will happen that Uh, that component will be obsolete and uh, will no longer be available so apart from this column uh, you can see on the right uh, most column uh, there are some flags uh, the triangular flags we should be uh, take care of these if if we have these type of flags we should see what uh, by clicking on the flag what's the meaning of this flag like in the first uh, row 33 uf capacitor it's orange colored so the orange colored triangular flag has something different meaning and the red color flag as you can see on the fourth row has some uh, other meaning so we should see uh, what does uh, it mean so uh, so that if if we need to change the component uh, we can change accordingly so if we click over here life cycle is end of life so it means it's going to end of life so we definitely we need to change this component so on the uh panel side let me see this on all the green color tick uh mark tick are okay good to go with these components but uh, with the triangular like this selected spns is insu insufficient stock so stock is uh, not sufficient so uh, if we are going to order those parts so we should see before ordering before uh, designing that uh, this part has a stock in bulk so we can avoid the issue on the later stages like this exclamation no mpn rank so that's also something different which we see and here if we if we look at the end of life part number and open this part and see is it really end of life because we are on the live bomb so it means it's obviously end of life but just to double check 
click on the component and open its manufacturer or data sheet let it be loaded and here you can see eol end of life so this part is end of life esda24 this part is no longer available its solution is if we if you see below there are some other components available uh, you can choose the uh, some alternate component which has the same specification as the previously used component but uh, before choosing we should be make ourselves clear that the requirements are as per expected as per the previous component which we were using as you can see here you have a same part number same there is no mean of uh, using the same part number because it's already eol so uh, the other main supplier part number will also be eol so just to see is it really eol you can check it out uh, just for the confirmation just for the clarification that we need to change this EUL part. Yeah. Here are all the descriptions written over here. You can see from here. So you can have some other components over here. These are all the alternates or some are the similar components, but the supplier is different like DG key, Arrow, Moser, Octoparts has all the suppliers on their website. So use this website if you are selecting components for the for your circuit design. It's very uh, easy to use. Similarly, uh, let's check it out. This not recommended for new design and open it out let it be loaded and once loaded you can see here is the data sheet attached you can open its data sheet as well just by just clicking on the data sheet or the supplier link here you can see n r n d it means not recommended for new design if we are designing a product uh, so and using this part it's 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 uh, too bad and too bad practice so so make sure to check all the parts before releasing the bomb or manufacturing files so that's all for today's video thanks for watching and follow us for the upcoming videos